WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update and we got the Dow which was up very sharply. Took a dive, went negative, but now it's up 36 points. It looks like a program trade right there. I just need to type this in and I'll tell you right now that I, the Dow is... There it is. The Dow is uh, up 36 points at 34,889. The S&P is up... Uh, 13 points, and this is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update, is up 13 points at 45.11. QQQ, NDX 100, is up $1.37 at 376. The IWM, the Russell 2000, oh, that's a very nice move, up 81 cents at 189. Gold had a really strong, earlier it was weak, then it had a strong move up. It's stalling right here at the 200-period moving average. It's up 9 at 1974. Really good move from the 19-teens to where we are right now. Uh, looking at uh, silver, I'll just do that quickly because Tom's got his gold uh, webinar this afternoon. Check it out. Up 0.06 at 2525. <clears throat> looking at crude oil, holding quite well, actually. It's up 12 cents at uh, 81.28. And the TLT, that's bonds. Uh, bonds are down 21 ticks at 96.09, and that's just suggesting that yields are attempting to start to come down. The, month, the, the weekly chart really says, no, those yields are not ready to, to really sharply move down because the TLT looks like uh, the weight of the downside move says, yeah, you could bounce, but it's going to have to do some retesting. We'll see if that happens. So uh, within that context, I wanted to just point out that the VIX index has dropped very sharply. And any time between now and maybe Tuesday of this coming week, if the volatility index, instead of being in the 14, suddenly bounces and goes towards the 16.80, 17.30 level and actually closes there in any session, That'll start another decline in the, in the general market. But right now, there's still buying coming in, and also you've got end of the month, then beginning of the month, so you've got a little bit of time here. So we're going to be looking at what happens uh, on the close Friday for those weekly charts, and the monthly charts will have wrapped up August. That's going to be really important. Have a great day, and if the Dow is up over 60 points after 2 o'clock, that's going to be good. If it's down again negative, that'll say, ah, a little bit of weakness coming in. Have a great rest of the day, and don't forget Tom's webinar coming up at 4 o'clock. Thanks for being here.